This is the video lesson of Susan Garcia, Teacher of the Year nominee for Columbia Elementary. The lesson you will see in this video is on third grade science. On the day before recording the video, students were issued a STEAM challenge in which they were asked to create a race car using the items pictured here along with invisible tape. Here are some images of students as they built together with their partners and tested their vehicles. The requirement for their vehicle was that they could only use the items provided, nothing additional, and that their car must roll on its own. Kids really enjoyed building and we used these in our lesson to come. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Our objectives for this lesson are as follows. Students will use their bodies to demonstrate how force is a push or a pull, and they will also explain the effect of varying amounts of force on the motion of an object. Good morning, guys. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. Thank you so much. Good morning. We are going to jump right into our science lesson today on force. Um, Chloe, tell me what you think you know about force. It's a push or pull. Oh, good. Everybody repeat that. A force is a push or a pull. Could you please turn and tell your neighbor about force? Very good. Classy class. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for that. I love to hear you teaching each other. We're going to jump right in today. Um, a force is a push or a pull. Today we're going to investigate three forms of force. Three, can you believe it? The first is gravity and then magnetism and friction. Those are the three forces we are going to learn about today. We're going to touch on gravity and magnetism and we're going to investigate friction. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Me too. So gravity is a force that pulls masses toward things with a greater mass. In this picture, which object has the greater mass? Austin. The bunny does not have the greater mass. Okay, Flint. The earth has the definite larger, greater mass. The earth is way bigger than the bunny. Because the bunny is smaller, it is being pulled toward the earth by the force of gravity. Gravity also helps us in another way. It helps us to um, have the Earth held into position in its orbit around the sun. Which one has the smallest mass, Noah? The Earth. The Earth is definitely smaller than the sun. The sun is the largest star in our solar system. We know that already. Magnetism. Oh, this one is special. Magnetism is so special because it can either be a push or, sorry, or a pull. It can do both things. And we have investigated a little bit with magnetism before, but let's talk about it for a second. Let's, let's get into the science of why that happens. Opposite poles attract. They want to be friends. Do you know that when you go out on the playground at recess to play, that you often are picking your friends who are more different than you? Do you realize that? Yeah, we do. Um, how boring would life be, Laslin, if all of our friends were just like us? Really That'd be really boring. Because sometimes you don't want to be like the same person. You want to be your own person. That exactly. And so variety makes our lives um, more special, more interesting. Well, magnets, we can kind of think of them as kind of like friendships. They want different friends, okay? So opposite poles, the north and the south, they pull together. They want to be such good friends. Show me your opposite poles attracting. Very good. Now, what would happen if I switched these out and I did similar poles? If I had a north and a north or a south and a south, what would happen to them then? I'm trying so hard. I'm applying a tremendous amount of my own physical force, but... Ooh, they just do not want to be together, right? Very good, very good. So that's how magnetism can provide a push and a pull. The last one that we're going to touch on today is friction. And this is the uh, form of force that we are going to investigate. 
um, using the cars that we built yesterday. So excited about this. But friction is a force that works against motion. So if I set my ball rolling across the floor, is it going to just continue to roll and roll no, and roll no. and roll? It's going to eventually stop. It will eventually stop. It will eventually stop because friction or the rubbing of it against the floor is going to eventually cause it to stop. Friction is coming this way. The ball is going that way. In time, the two will stop the motion of the ball. So if I want to make my ball go furthest, what do I need to do with it? Austin Mills, what should I do with it? I need to put more force. I need to put more force. I need to really give it a push. Really give it a good push. Very good. And if I don't want it to travel very far, tough, what would I do? Just tap it a little. Very good. Very good. Okay, so now we are to the part of our lesson where we are going to get to bring those race cars out that we made yesterday. This is the Force 500. I have prepared for you three different racetracks. And those special cars that we made yesterday, we're going to race those down a ramp three special times. These ramps are special because they have different coverings on them. So like this floor is just a ceramic tile floor, right? Sometimes in your living room at home, what might you have on the floor? Wood. wood. Sometimes it's wood, and sometimes people it's have rugs. tile rugs, maybe carpet. some carpet. carpet. I was looking for some carpet. Good. So different surfaces will create different amounts of friction. Hey, guys, we are ready now to start our friction um, experiment using our cars. But before we jump into that, we have to come up with our testable question. If I want to know if friction can change how far my car goes, how could I write that? Reagan, can you help me? No, okay. You could write it like this. Does friction affect the what, how far an object moves? Oh, that is so good. So he said, does friction affect how far our car would move? Oh, that's so good. Can we test that using ramps in our cars? Yes. Can we? So Kay said that we could use a testable question of, does friction, how did you put it, Kay? Does friction affect the way an object moves? Does friction affect the way an object moves? And I think that is, I think that's a great testable question. We can test that by how? Using our cars. By using our cars and ramps. And ramps. Okay. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Let me get my document camera up and I will model for you how to write your testable question. Here we go. So just take your pencil and under testable question. Does friction. Affect the way my car moves. And it's a testable question because we can actually test it using our ramps and our cars that we made yesterday. Chloe. Right here? Sorry. It's A F F E C T. Let me see if I get my light on. Does that help us? Uh, not so much. Can I get a little closer? Does that help at all? How about that? That should help a little bit. That's A F F E C T. Affect. That means does it change the way my car rolls? Does it change it in some way? Does friction affect the way my car moves? And so, guys, today we have three ramps that we're going to race our cars down. One is covered in aluminum foil. Remember the shiny stuff we did for our um, art lesson last week? And also your moms and dads and maybe aunts and uncles use it in the kitchen to wrap up things for baking. We're going to have one covered in that. One is just plain cardboard, 
and the other is covered by pieces from a rug. So I want you to think about those three things, and I want you to come up with a hypothesis. A hypothesis is, what do I think is going to happen when I race my cars down the three ramps? Come up with it for yourself. I want you to write it on your paper under hypothesis. I think when I roll my car down the fill-in-the-blank ramp, my car will go the fill-in-the-blank. Furthest, shortest, whatever. That's up to you. I want you to come up with your hypothesis. We are scientists in this broad, expanding world. Very nice. I like your question. Some good sentences, I see. Very good sentences. Looking good. As soon as you are done, you can just put your pencil down. Thank you very much. Looking good. So guys, we are now ready for our Force 500 race. Um, we have set up our ramps. Each ramp is five textbooks high. We've got one that is covered in cardboard, one that is covered with aluminum foil, and one that is covered in carpet. We have already come up with our testable question of does friction affect the move, movement of our car or how my car will move? And we have um, come up with a hypothesis. We have thought about it from a scientific standpoint and said, I think that my car will do this when I roll it down this. Um, you guys did very well at hypothesis and testable questions, so we are now ready to begin testing. Okay, guys, so we are ready to start testing um, to see how we can do with friction and our race cars. The first team that I would like to call up, please, is Ethan, Noah, and Caden for the white team. Ethan's going to get the car, Noah's going to release it, and Caden is going to mark where it stops. So just tear off a small piece of tape and lay it down right at the front of the car where it stops. So we're going to do one at a time. Let's start on the cardboard side. Get over here a little bit. There we go. Okay, you come over here by me. Very good. Nice job. Ethan, come on up, baby. Okay, so Noah's going to line it up at the very edge of our ramp. Make sure that your wheels are as straightforward as you can get them. And when you are ready, you may release it. Okay, so Kaden, go right to the end of the car and put a piece of tape there. You need help tearing it? I can help you. There you go. There you go. Very good. And put a W on there for white. Now, well, you can go ahead and get set up for the second run. You can hold the pin and I'll just hand you the tape. How about that? This is so great. <coughs> I love this. No, and when you are ready, you may release it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Kind of the same. It, it looks pretty close to the same. So, hmm. Interesting. Let's see what happens with the next one. Very good. Thank you, baby. Hmm. So put your piece of tape and mark it. Did what you thought would happen actually happen? Yes. yes. I heard some no's and I heard some yeses. Okay, well, that's good. Um, you guys, would you please take your car back to your station? Thank you so much. And I would like to next have the black group. I've got Dagan and Emily. Uh, Dagan, get your car. Emily, you will be the person who um, marks it with the tape and writes a B for the black team. It looks really nice. Looks like okay, it really your first piece of tape in the it's on the roof. Boys and girls. You're redoing it? I'm just going to show that. Okay, gotcha. So we're making a little bit of a, a modification to our car. 
That should be good. Okay, let's go then. Wheels at the back line, and when you are ready, release them. Mark it at the end and That's put a really B for the line. That traveled very well. You guys balanced your car very well. Okay, I'm going to try the second one. We're pretty close, right? I we are think pretty my, close. I think the egg could barely. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mark it. And then go ahead and set up for your second, for your third run, Taken. Kind of interesting because right got the same. It, it did. And then your last piece I of think right got the same um, cardboard as they did that's still right just a little bit. Okay. And when you are ready, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so put a piece of tape right at the edge. The tape is like up uh, uh, at the edge. Uh, uh, I got the did problem. it get stuck on tape? Okay, okay. we'll try it one more time. Emily, back up for just a second yeah. and try one more time. A piece of your tape got stuck to the carpet. Now that's some friction, right? That's yeah. some friction. Yeah. That would be uh, sticky friction. I gotta find a way to get the Do you help? You got it. You're good. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so here we go. Final run for black. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, David and Emily, take your car back to your station. Hey, really good. Next up, we have Mint. Last one, Grace, Cade, and Gracie. Um, Grace, would you be in charge of the car? Last one, would you be in charge of the writing and the tape? Our other two, you are in the pit crew. You are here to help us for anything we need. Would you please have a, a squat right there on the sidelines? Cheer on your racing team. When you label, you'll put an M for Mint. Oh, thank you for my straw. Back up, so just in case it goes further. There you go. And here we go. Woo! Oh, if it had not turned, it would have really traveled far. Go ahead and mark it. It was the same as black and white. Right. It was very close. That's weird. Yeah. I know. I know. It's the same. the same thing. On the same. Because of the fraction of the black and white. Oh, this is good. Time the car. Are you ready? When you are ready, you may release it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, wow. Another tie. Yes. Uh -oh. Very good. Wow. That one went really well. Now let's try the carpet and see what happens. Another tie. Oh, come on. This is so good. Gray team. Case, Chloe, Kentrell, and Austin W. Case, would you be the person to release the car? Austin W., will you be the person to mark it with the tape? Our other two, will you please be the pit crew? Thank you, baby. This is so fun. And here's your pin. Um, baby, when you get ready to mark yours, you'll mark it with a G for gray. It is. So line it up. Okay, that's a good travel. It, it went very straight. It might be a little long. So as it came down the ramp, it might be kind of dragging a little in the back, but it, it traveled very well. Go ahead and do the next. It is. It is. I do Oh, nice. You got a piece of hair on the back of it. Because yeah. <laughs> you can remove that as you do the next run. That's good, right there, baby. You're good, right there. Very good. Case, okay, so make sure that your partner has it recorded before you jerk it up out of the way, okay? I got a piece of tape. Okay, I'm going to put it Looks like we're stuck on tape, yeah. <laughs> that friction, that friction is working. This is high, so it kind of. Exactly. Okay. We're going to have one more try, and then we're going to mark it on the carpet. It's on this side. Let's have a seat. 
Oh, baby, you're, you're bending and ramping. Okay, boys and girls, hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. Thank you. That activity went really well. I think we saw that um, our testable question was legit. We could actually test that question. And I think we answered our hypothesis. Now that you have your interactive notebooks out, will you please turn to your next available page? I have the page that you're going to complete on the board. I want you to do exactly like mine is. You can change your colors, that's fine. You can add a few words, that's fine. You can do extra pictures if you would like. Force is the label at the top. We're defining force as a push or a pull, and we are describing the three types of force that we talked about today. We've got magnet, gravity, and friction. Before we complete our interactive notebook, would you please turn to your partner and tell them which ramp caused the most friction? Go ahead, teach. The rug. Oh, class. Oh, yes. Did the two of you agree? Yes. yes. You didn't. Okay, so we'll talk yes. about that in a minute. The, most of what I'm hearing is yes. So if you agree that that which ramp caused the most friction? Which ramp was it? Rock! No, rock on the carpet. Very good. And that's because it has more of a force of? Friction. Friction. Very good. I appreciate you guys today. Please complete your interactive notebook. Thank you for watching.